Hello, hello, hey, hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. We have finally reached 4K subscribers and it is all because of you guys who subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned on this video because at the end of this video, I will be doing a little giveaway for you guys. So stay tuned till the end of this video to know what am I giving away. And in today's video, I will be doing a makeover for my vanity area. And my inspiration for this area is basically the clouds. I want this area to be very fluffy, very white, very bright. It's a place for me to sit down and be calm and do my skincare and not worrying about the world. So before we start anything, I will be bringing you guys for a little shopping. Out of all this, I think I like this one because it has a drawer. It's not much, but it's okay. I like that the size is not that thick, so it saves space. But, however, I don't like that it is mounted to the wall because I like to move things around. So probably I will add an attachment leg over here. It is $1.99. It is okay. So we just got back from IKEA and Mr. DIY. We found a lot of great stuff. We found a table for the vanity, mirrors, and also a fluffy carpet that I really love. And now I'm gonna start with the table first. The table is done, it's right over here. And as you guys know, this table were meant to be drilled to the wall. And what I did, I added this Edel's legs over here. Because if you drill to the wall, the maximum weight that this drawer can handle is only 20 kg. And also knowing me, I will love to shift things around. So it's good to have legs instead of drilling it to the wall where you can't really move them. So vanity will not be complete without a mirror. So I saw this one mirror that I really really love from H&M Home. It has these fringes at the bottom. They have green, they have pink, they have red. However, it is a little bit on the expensive side and it is really small. You can see the pictures I had over here. It is really nice. It costs almost a hundred ringgit for one piece and it is really small as well. And then I went to Mr. DIY and I found something pretty similar. However, I'm going to transform it and make it look somewhat similar to the one from H&M Home. So this is the item that I got. I, I love the size and of course, I love the dome shape right over here. However, I am not a fan of the border right over here because you can see that it is actually plastic. It is bendable. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the plastic frame from the glass. I'm gonna do it very, very gently because the glass is not the highest quality. This is the mirror that I am going to keep and DIY it. And also I bought two of them. So it's gonna be like next to each other or probably one up, one down. Look at that, so nice. And right now I'm going to add the fringes at the bottom. So I went to Spotlight the other day and I found this fringes. It is almost identical as the one at H&M Home. So I bought a few colors that I have here. So right now I am contemplating which one should I use. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go on Instagram and I'm going to do a poll, a vote, and you guys can vote which color should I pick. It has been more than an hour and the vote on Twitter pointing towards the red color, the maroon color. And on Instagram, most of you guys chose the deep navy color. Now I'm going with my gut instinct and telling me that this red is more suitable for the room because of course I am a Gryffindor at heart as well. This color will suit perfectly. Now it's time to start with the DIY. First of all, of course, you will be needing the mirror. Next, you'll be needing the fringes and a scissor. And last but not least, I have two adhesives over here. This one is a foam double-sided tape and this one is a double-sided tape for acrylic or mirrors. Alright, so before I start, I want to tell you guys that 
In my reference photo, there is a gold lining on the side, which was metal. However, I tried painting on it and even spray painted on it, it won't stick. So I decided not to go with a gold wrap around the mirror because the reason why I love this mirror is because of the shape. So let's start. Alright, for the second DIY, you can see over here we have two mirrors. This one is the floor mirror and this one we're gonna mount it on the wall. So I'm going to take this one and take it upstairs to my vanity area. But first, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spray paint it at the frame of the mirror white to match everything. All right, so the mirror is done over here. You can see that. So far, I'm loving the result. And the spray that I use from Mr. DIY is super, super fast curing. And yes, if you guys are wondering, the carpet from Mr. DIY, I bought it. It cost me around 130 ringgit. And also, I bought a smaller one to put it on a chair. I am right now upstairs at the bedroom. And if you guys remember from my previous video, I have this awkward corner which I was going to turn it into a closet at first. Yes, it is this one that I am talking about. And Indra have helped me to put up the curtain over here to cover this area. However, it is still empty. This area is actually pretty spacious. It is eight feet by six feet. It is more than enough for my vanity area. So I've got everything sorted out and now it's time to decorate this space. Alright, so this is the layout that I'm going to stick with for now. I love the mirror over here, the table over here, the chair over here. This chair actually my best friend bought for me. She bought it back in 2016 for me and it turns yellow a little bit but it's totally fine because the carpet is a bit yellow. However, the fur over here is a bit on the white grey side, so it's a mix and match. But as I mentioned earlier in the video, I want this space to be a cloud, like a white fluffy cloud. So some of you guys may disagree, but I am really loving this so far. And now it's time for me to hang the mirrors and of course my favourite part, decorate. So I have hung the mirror and over here you can see I purposely put it one on the top side, one on the bottom side because this one I'll be using when I sit down and this one probably when I stand up and do my hair or something and this one just to check my overall look and then I can go out. Here, here. Hello. 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 Alright, I hope you guys love the video and this is the moment where I will be announcing the giveaway. In this video, you saw me did a DIY mirror that I actually bought from Mr. DIY. And guess what? I bought an extra two pieces right over here 
and I did one with the pink color and another one in, in the navy color. So I am giving these two away for you guys. All you gotta do is literally leave a comment in the comment box down below. I will be selecting two winners from the comment box down below and that's it. Alright, so that is all from me today and I hope you guys really loved this video as much as I did. Don't forget to join my contest giveaway and leave a comment box down below like this video and also subscribe to my channel. Alright, till next time, bye! Thank you.